Music has been part of Megan Detweiler's life since she was just four years old. Both my parents are super into music and my grandparents, so we just always had like instruments lying around the house. So I would just pick one up and play with it. Detweiler picked up flute during her senior year of high school. She taught herself and found a place to play when she arrived at RIT. How did you learn about the pep band and what was your thought when you found out we had one? Actually, my freshman roommate, who I just kind of got like randomly added to, she joined pep band and she was like, hey, you play flute, come on. And I did and I loved it because like, um, obviously I wasn't like super great at flute having taught myself, but it was a lot of fun and we got to go to the games and get super RIT and she actually didn't stick with it, but obviously I did. Right, yeah. For three years, Detweiler was just another member. But that changed last spring when she decided she wanted to audition to be leader of the band. I, I don't really know why I wanted to do it. I just felt something drawing towards me. And I had gotten to be friends with like last year's conductor. And um, last year's conductor was amazing. He really like worked the band up. And I think we have a better sound now because of him. And I, I really wanted to like add my piece to it. Watch my hands, do the full progression. You don't need to suddenly go into the extremes, okay? One, two, three, four. For 11 straight years, the RIT pep band has been led by only male conductors. Until this year, when Megan Detweiler took over the reins. I was really excited. I was also really nervous. Um, we've never had a female conductor before, so I was like worried that if I do a bad job, they're going to be like, oh, that's why we don't have women conductors. But pep band is full of wonderful, supportive people. So even on the days where I'm like, you know, not quite we're not quite with it, not quite doing the best. These people are really supportive when we, we work together and I think we have such just like a great community and a great, you know, atmosphere to band that we're all working together to make band as good as possible. How rewarding has this experience been for you so far? Honestly, it's been amazing. I have had so many people from, you know, like RIT fans come up to me and be like, thank you, because we're an integral part of the, the RIT hockey experience. And so being a part of that and kind of being the one who's leading and I'm like the face of the pep band now has been really amazing. It's been a great experience and I'm so glad to be a part of it. What are your plans for next year? Do you want to continue oh. to be conductor or do you want to go back in and, uh, and play? You know, I really, I do miss playing flute because um, it is something, it's like a totally different experience, but I do also really like leading the band. So actually, I've thought about this a lot and I have no idea yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to run again. It kind of depends on who else is going to run because I don't want to leave the band like with no one, but I, if it's in good hands, I'll feel comfortable going back and playing flute.